We got three wallets from Topology. Almost all of them are quite clever. Almost. 435. All right. Almost made it. Almost made it. Topology. Card wallet. Slim coin. Slim coin plus. So let's start with the card wallet. They all come in the same packaging. Let's get this open. Nice flat design. What does it say? Inspired by rock climbers and alpines. Tissue paper. It's got some. You saw that. Oh, you can see it in there. Some topology things. Clever. All right. And here is this wallet. Again, the card wallet. Thought I thought I noticed uh, some magnets in here. All right. Take a look. A little bit of a gusset. Very easy on the eyes. This is the navy color. All of them are navy, but they also come in black. But as you can see, they uh, mix in the colors. There's the black, and on the black one, it mixes in the navy. So, quite nice. Now to the slim coin wallet. Yeah, you heard me right, coins. These uh, next two handle coins. People forget that coins are used all throughout the world. Just because we uh, live in a country that uh, has a lot of tap pay, it doesn't mean that it's everywhere. And even if it is, people still use coins. Japan is a big example of that. All right, here we go. The next tissue papered, embalmed wallet. All right, this is the slim coin. As you can see, it's a, a bit larger than we get with the card wallet. And uh, you can see, you know, or maybe not see, where do we get the coins in here? Well, we'll show that as we go through the feature review. And uh, we have a good traditional billfold pocket. A couple interesting card slots. I really like this little feature they have here, this little indicator. This is their mark that they have. A couple stitches. Set that aside. Now we're on to the Slim Coin Plus. I don't think we can ever have an imagination that would tell us what the plus means, except, oh right, it's bigger. So here we go. Open this up. Dispose of tissue, and here we go. Compared to the regular Slim Coin, Slim Coin Plus, whereas this one is vertical, this one is horizontal. We can see that here in the layout. It's obviously wider. And we have a divider in here. We'll get into that because it's not just the divider. We have some interesting things with this. So let me put them all together so you can get a feel what they look like. Those are the three we're tackling. They all have a consistent look, but where does the clever design start falling short? As mentioned, the card wallet has a magnetic closure. You can kind of hear that right there. Keeps it closed. But you know, I don't mind this. I think it helps, you know, it gets a little bit bulky. Uh, it may not close, but I uh, like the fact it tries to kind of keep it together. If we open it up, because there is no other features on the exterior, we have three card slots. We have one, two, and this gusseted area over here. Gusset means that it's got a bit of a pouch to it because we have this extension here on the side. Uh, you know, capacity up to 15 cards they're talking about here, and there is a split RFID protection and open slot. You can see that in the little graphic right here. This allows the cards to have some level of protection, but when closed, you can still tap for transit or for pay. Now to the slim coin wallet. No features on the exterior, but as we open this up, we see the coin pouch, and it's right here. This has a bit of a spring closure. So it helps keep it down. So as you use this over time, and we you get your finger in here, you open this up, it's not gonna just stay open. It has a spring closure into it. And uh, we'll, we'll get in this as we get into the card and cash insertion test. Coins go in here. There is a, uh, the opposite side of this does open up just a wee bit as well and has some depth to it. We'll see what that does. And then we've got one, two, and three card slots. One right here, one behind it, and if we get in here, you can see that it has this noticed as a transit card area. Well, that means because this side of the wallet over here is non-RFID. So if you have a card, credit card, or transit card there, you are able to tap the front without a problem. But the cards on this side over here are not going to be uh, open. They'll be RFID protected. It also has a short billfold pocket right here, short width. Uh, we'll, look to see, we'll look to see how that happens with the currency, how this works. Uh, nothing interferes with inserting and extracting notes, despite what goes on over here. Now onto the Slim Coin Plus. Again, comparing the two, 
horizontal, vertical. Nothing on the in exterior of the Plus wallet. We still have the coin pouch over here, albeit a little bit bigger. And it's uh, slightly larger for coins if you want to take it. What really separates this particular wallet from the regular coin wallet is the number of cards and where they're at. So you have uh, cards that are put in here horizontally. They go in this way, not vertically like we see at the other wallet. So you have a slot right here, another slot here, and we have five slots right in here with the divider between the, with, between the two billfold pockets. Very interesting. So seven card slots, five card slots are in that center area, two are in the front. Capacity of about seven to 10 cards. And as I mentioned, this, these two billfold pocket areas allows for multiple currencies to be stored, receipts, uh, full billfold, any shape notes will really fit in this one. That's a quick review of the features of all three. And here we go. Eighty thousand subscribers is our target. Then two lucky winners will be able to choose five wallets of their choice for my inventory. Noisy birds. Anyway, if we haven't reached eighty thousand yet, you still have a chance. Subscribe now. Boy, we'll get into this one. There's a lot to say. Uh, these all, all three of these are designed in Hong Kong and made in China. Now there used to be a difference between them, but sadly that's not the case anymore between Hong Kong and China. It's uh, anyway. These are all made from top grain cow leather. The lining is a microfiber right here in the back, you see this right in here, provides protection for cards and has a very nice tactile feel to it. The machine sewing is done actually really nicely and is reinforced in all the expected places that we would hope for on wallets like this. Now the Slimcoin Plus has a lot of lining back in here. Uh, in between these cards, this center section, this leather piece here, the separator, separator uh, there's just leather toppers and then it goes lining all the way down. That's RFID lining. And man, this was a struggle. We will talk about this clever idea of putting all the cards in this little divider right in here. Uh, if we look at these from a pricing perspective, card wallet, 79, slim coin, 99, and the plus is 109. So let's talk about usability of these. Let's get into the card wallet first. I really like this magnetic closure, honestly. It uh, feels like the Bellroy card holder, which is sadly discontinued, also had this feature and I loved it. The size is good and with a folded emergency cash in here, uh, tap pay on this side over here as well. Uh, coins really uh, aren't anything you'd want to carry in here, not designed for it, but really it makes this a great commuter wallet, size and everything else. So I really quite like this. Now if we look at the slim coin, the vertical one, coins are still a big thing around the world as I mentioned. And when the coins were in here, it, it, it kept closed. I really like that. The fact that the, there's space on the other side of the spring right here, however, you can get my finger in there and you can see this much space. That uh, provides difficulty in coins sliding out. I'll show that on the Plus Wallet. Now I really do like the offset cards right here. This, uh, this is really nice. You have a card 
slot right there, and we also have a card slot right here in the front. I like this offset. It gives you finger and thumb access to the cards and having a commuter card right here for transit or additional credit card for tap. I, I really, really like this idea. So, that being said, let's get to the Pemoth. This is the Plus. Uh, this begins to get way too wide for my liking, personally, but uh, the slightly larger coin pouch we have here than the Slim Coin, let me show you what we're talking about. So if I want to get into my coins, you know, they slide all over. Well, if I want to get to them, I have to be able to get them out. And they will come out unless they're caught, you know, like this Yen right here, Ugh, this Yen right there and you're going to have to kind of fish but it does provide an avenue where you know if you're clicking uh, squeezing open you're able to get your coins one way or the other sliding out as you're able to push down and squeeze and have them come out that way uh, but it, it's a it's a nice uh, alteration to the typical big pouch that you get which causes lots of increase in the thickness of the wallet now to the big one boy if you saw the struggle i was going through in the card and cash insertion test you'll you'll no why. So we have this thin piece of leather. We'll get the cash out, which was just fine. Fits all currencies. We have this thin piece of leather in here, which is the divider between both areas. And then they added five card slots. This one didn't even go in. I didn't even try the other one. It was just taking freaking too long to do that. Uh, is a great idea in concept, and this would have to break in a bit. However, there are some limitations on that. Now, on the front, I think this is great. You've got uh, two card slots here, offset, easy access. There's another card slot that I put right, sorry, the card slot I used right there was fine, and the one up front of it. Now, we uh, pull these cards out. See that one of the, the difficulties is potential tearing. And there is a bit of a little opening right here, this little hole. And that little hole, if I can show you something in a bigger way, is like this right here. This is the ochre flip. This actually prevents the leather from tearing as you're putting cards in and out. And they've done this with the topology. You can see that, but this is going to take some breaking in, but you know we're dealing with a lot of RFID lining material, and we only have these leather toppers right here. And so, boy, I don't know how this is really going to work out going forward by way of stretching and accommodating those cards. I'm sure it will a bit over time, but boy, that was a struggle. I'm not quite sure I really like that. All these wallets have a two-year warranty, and these wallets are only available on and off on their website, depending on when their supplies are available. So you'll have to check their website out on and off. Now that said, there are other wallets that have a split RFID and non-RFID wallet option. Now onto the final score. For the card wallet, we have quality of three. These are all done in top grain leather, which isn't bad but it uh, isn't, of course, great. Price of two, I think it's expensive based on that. Features of four, and, you know, it's got quite a bit. I like that split between RFID and non. Usability of four, easy to use, perception of three. Gives that score at 32. If we look at the slim coin, uh, same kind of situation. Quality three, price two, features four. Again, we have coins that are involved here, which is really quite nice. Usability, a very easy, I like this one, a four in perception of three, gives us a final score of 32. And finally, for the Slim Plus, the Coin Slim Plus. Uh, quality of three, same, price of two. These are all really expensive for the quality you get out of it. Features of four, uh, again, coins incorporated in this. Uh, it does not have a split RFID, non-RFID, but that's okay. Usability, a two. Nice ideas in there, but boy, that's kind of fiddly with those cards and Perception of 3, which gives it a final score of 27 out of 50. If you're looking for the other RFID split option, well, look at this video next, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.